Hello guys and welcome back with me, Channel Channel 2025 and now we're gonna play Valkyria Chronicle 2 in PSP We played the first game uh, before and now we're gonna play the second game Sega. In days long past, the Darksons, bringers of the Great Calamity, invaded Europa Pushing her to the brink of ruin. But the godly Valkyria heard the prayers of the people. Brandishing spears wreathed in blue flame, they struck down the Darksen invaders, ushering Europa into an era of peace. Yeah, if you know, if you re if you watch the first game, you know what actually happened. Yeah, like, eh, that's Cordelia. Or is it her? I don't know, I forget. We're gonna use Tang again. <coughs> it's a far Korea. That's Walken and Alicia. I think it's not a brick cool, eh? they, they have Walken and Alicia. Uh, I got information wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Yeah, Walken Chronicle 2. Like I said before, I'm gonna play. Game that are <laughs> more no, I won't save it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna decide later. What is extra? Yeah, like I said before. That I'm gonna play more story focus, uh, sorry, focus game with less of exploring and stuff, so I just could enjoy the game on like Persona with a lot of grind, you know. Now I just a bit relax here, you know. I know Factory Chronicle also have grind like a free mission, but I don't think there are too much chores. Then Persona 2, Eternal Punishment. <laughs> Difficulty, yeah, I'm gonna play with normal. You know? Game content is identical, identical, yeah, it's the same ending and stuff, but I want, uh, I want some challenge, you know? I usually an easy game guy, you know? I usually play easy, but I don't know. I think. It's one jail like this, yeah. This is my first safe game. I actually just tried if it's work. For yeah. Setting the up design. 1935. Two powers stood poised for war. The East <coughs> European Imperial Alliance. And in the West, the Atlantic Federation. Open conflict erupted as they vied for control of the continent. The Second European War had begun. Caught between giants, the small principality of Gallia. No small prize, Gallia possessed rich deposits of ragnite ore, a valuable energy source. The Imperial Alliance marched on Gallia, 
hoping to claim those resources for its own. The Empire conquered more than half of Gallia. Oh, this is the first game. The Gallian militia turned the tide and expelled the invaders. Yeah. 1937. Two years have passed since <coughs> the Imperial Alliance invaded Gallia. But across the continent, the fires of war still rage. I'm looking for an Avon Hardens. Well, looks like you found him. What can I do for you? Uh, this is our hero, I think. My name is Hubert Brixham. I instruct at the Lanseal Royal Military Academy. Hey, my brother Leon goes there. You'll confirm that this is your brother, then? Yep, that's him, all right. So, how's he doing? I think it's bad news. I realize this is sudden, and it pains me to be the bearer of sad tidings. But your brother, Leon Hardens, has passed away. What? I offer you my sincerest condolences. Hey, w wait, just a minute. Why is... <coughs> How did he die? All that goes on at the Academy is classified for national security. I'm afraid... I cannot tell you any of the details surrounding his death. What? You can't tell me! That's messed up! I'm his family! Leon wouldn't... My brother can't be dead. Man, that's crazy! Yeah, crazy. He was stronger than anybody I ever... What? I should have thought the game was nearby. Have news, Ivan. We got rebels! They're attacking Malvir! Rebels, now? Of all the times they could pick. <coughs> Grab your guns, guys. We'll join the town guard and send them packing. Oh, okay. Just remember what we all learned back in training, and we'll be fine. Now let's go! Let's go! Huh? Training? Okay, first mission. The rebel army is attacking Malfur. Join force with the town guard to defeat the enemy, all enemy unit. Uh, part rifle stone A, scout, victory, all enemy unit defeated. I found false in combat, transition pass. Moral zero. Oh, we have moral now. Okay. Next. Okay, I cannot play science squad. It's remind me of the nasty warrior. Yeah, it's the same, just deploy. I think it's like tutorial mission, you know? It's always like that. This is the first mission. <coughs> Here we go guys! These rebels are history! Oh, moral. Listen up now. Alfred Hardings, there's something I'd like to go over with you. In an action. When a mission begins, you'll see a bird's eye view of the battlefield that show terrain and the position of units. This screen is called Command Mode. Command Mode is used to select the units that you want to move around the field. Use directional button to move the cursor over a unit and then press the X button. Try selecting a unit that you want to move. Good luck out there. Don't forget what I've told you. And what is name? Command. I have command. No. Okay, let's go. Movement. After selecting a unit, you will enter action mode, where you can move. The units around the field. Okay. Use the next stick to map of a unit. You can move the camera left and right using the L and R button and up and down using the triangle and X button. <coughs> While the units moving, the action point gauge at the bottom of the screen will gradually deplete it. 
but you need AP reach zero that will be unable to move any further. So keep an eye on the gouge. Try moving on the to the sandbag directly in front of you. Okay. Attacking. Now that you learn how to move a unit, let's try attacking the enemy. Press the square button while in action mode to switch to the tra target mode. Once the screen has changed, use the R and R button to target an enemy and then press the X button to attack. You can also use the analog stick to adjust your aim manually. The enemy will soon fire after you have attacked, so keep an eye on your HP. L and R button. This. Just shoot the head, man. And then press X button. <coughs> Down. Any action. You can only attack while moving a unit. Once you have finished moving and made an attack, and that you need action and return to command mode. Press the start button to return to command mode. Ah, yeah, like hell. Command points or CP. Selecting a unit in command mode costs 1 command point. CP respawns your ability to command your squad. You can keep selecting units until you have no CP left. You cannot select any more units once you have used all your CP. So at that point, you should end the pace. Oh, we just have 3 enemy. Gonna move this guy. Sandbags. Making good use of any sandbags. Place on the battlefield will help you gain the upper hand in battle. Move close to some sandbags and when crouch appear, press the circle button. The unit will crouch behind the sandbags giving them cover. Units are harder to hit when they are crouching and also take less damage compared to when they are standing. When moving a unit, it is a good idea to head for any nearby sandbags. Okay, nearby sandbags. Cut it. Now we shoot this guy. Okay. Awaiting orders. And the uh, round. Yes, okay. I'll find again. Let's okay, go. let's go. <clears throat> Enemy down. Mission complete. All right, we sent them packing. Now the score is A. I think it's the best score <laughs> since ah uh, yeah. There's no way. There's a way better score than that. Phew, that should keep them out of Melvir for a while. Hey, what are rebels in here? A fine bit of leadership, gathering those men in the face of a surprise attack. Apparently, it's a family trait. Hey, you really won't tell me how my brother died. That is correct. It's classified information, I'm afraid. I'm I guess afraid. That our conversation. You'll just have to let me into your academy then. What? You want to enroll? Leon can't be dead. My brother just wouldn't go down that easy. Period. Yeah, man. I must beg to differ. This certificate of death indicates that he... Spare me the paperwork. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't buy it. Not until I see proof with my own eyes. Hey, man, you should see... You should let him see the body. Hmm. At least a proof, you know. Then I suppose. At least a cause. This. It's an academy, not in war. What is it? An application for new enrollment at Landseal. I have to apply? Come on, you said you're a teacher. Yeah, you of course you need to apply, man. As a non-scouted applicant, <laughs> you'll face stricter <coughs> standards for acceptance. If you still wish to apply, I won't stop you. All are at liberty to try. 
But if you think just anyone can get in, well, you'll learn soon enough. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, perhaps we'll meet again. Good day. Good day. Leon, just like you always said. What? What I always said? If Galley is ever gonna be at peace again, guys like us <coughs> fight for it. Isn't Galley at peace right now? Vacation for student enrollment? Fine, I'll pass your stupid test. Isn't Galley have a military duty? Everybody needs to enroll in military Man, study. Be no stopping me. I'm coming for you, Leon. Yeah, I remember right, right. <laughs> All Galia people is must enroll military duty. Oh, I can't forget about that. 1937, the Principality of Galia. <coughs> Still reeling from the recent invasion, Galia now faces new troubles from within. Following the ceasefire between Galia and the Imperial Alliance, the new Archduchess, Cordelia Guy Randgrees, chooses to make public yes. her dark sin heritage. Many respond favorably to her candor. Oh, but yeah. Not all. Trouble because United she's by a the Darsen. hatred of the Darksons. A group of nobles forms the Gallian Revolutionary Army. Commonly known as the Rebels, their campaign to purge Gallia of any Darksin influence soon earns them great favor in the South. Oh, the South, man. The stage is set for the Gallian Civil War. The first game is World War and now Civil War. Save your game, of course I save. Okay guys, uh, I think this is my first video for the series. I'm gonna continue it again on the next <coughs> episode. Uh, thanks for watching and give a lot of like, you know. Give a like of subscribe and share for this video so I can really really have spirit to play the game but in a way even if there's no like there's no support I, I still play it anyway I like the game I like the first one and you know let's continue the story and I like I like to know what happened really but what's gonna happen next to Galia after Cordelia show her death and heritage and the the answer the f start video you know show about Welkins and Alicia which I actually want to know about happened about them too and please if if you're really new to this channel I recommend that you watch the Falke Chronicle first first the first game Falke Chronicle 1 I have to see it in my playlist and I think it's better for you to watch it for watch uh, that first it has a lot of uh, story background for the for this game I think since it's the continuation and you also learned about the Draxons learned about the war between uh, uh, Federation and Imperial and what's really happened and how Rangris and Kalia as a whole survive the war <laughs> I mean it's small nation versus like a continent, half the continent. It's crazy, and you also learn about Valkyria. I know this game will be explain it, but you know, like Persona 2 half game. <laughs> you know, there's thing that will will help you understand more if you watch the first game first. So I recommend that you watch it. But either way, enjoy this. All new playlist. I um, promise you, I will end it. I will play the game until the end. I I'm not promising I will use Flawstruck. I will try not to use guides. 
but I will I'll skim them for any secret and stuff but the game the the play I will not use a lot of lotro I want to enjoy the game unlike the first game well half the game half Half of the latter game I use wall strokes, so it's like a perfect play, <laughs> which I'm really good at it, but it's less enjoying that way, you know. Thank you, and see you on the next episode.